Good morning, church. My name's Lola. I'm part of the pastoral team. And this week we have been looking at the story of Ehud taken from Judges chapter 3, verse 12. And we know that Ehud um, was um, rose up by God. Um, he was a left-handed warrior, but that in fact ended up working to his advantage, something that the society would say was a disadvantage and a handicap because he was considered somebody who could not use his right hand and therefore had to use his left. But because of that, he kept his dagger on a different side um, and was able to slip in to see the king um, while remaining armed and kill the king. So after that, um, we look at what happens immediately after that. So he escapes and um, he's not pursued because it takes the servants a long time to actually figure out um, what has gone on. The Bible says that when he stabbed him in the abdomen, that is um, the king in the abdomen, that is that the king's abdominal contents came out. Um, and while um, um, Ehud was, was escaping and while the king lay dead on the ground, the servants actually thought because of the smell that was coming from the room, that the king must be using the toilet. Um, so, um, so Ehud got to the area where the rest of the Israelites are and the first thing that he did was sound a battle cry. He praised God because he had the victory. And um, he they had not, so far they had only killed the king, but Ehud was already praising and he sounded the battle cry and the rest of the Israelites joined him. And then they had this great battle um, where they killed 10,000, more than 10,000 of, of, of Moab's, um, most able-bodied men and then they were able to conquer um, the land of Moab and live in peace um, for 80 years and also in actual fact um, Ehud's name actually mean, means I will give you praise. So that is the, the end of the story of Ehud so we see that um, we uh, the lessons that we took away from this was number one, we um, we want to be wiser than the Israelites. We want to be more Holy Spirit empowered and we want to avoid going round in circles. Number two um, was that God was, God is incredibly faithful that we can see through the Bible um, how the God's character and how he responds to the Israelites and how he responds to various situations. And the only conclusion is that God is Faithful. Number three, we see Ehud, this right, this left handed warrior um, that a God uses, an unsuspecting person, um, um, a, a person who society would not expect um, to be the one who would be able to go in and, king, and kill King Eglon. And from there, we learn that God can use our weaknesses and turn them into our greatest strength. And today, we have um, highlighted the fact and the importance of praising God um, before the battle, in the midst of the battle, and after the battle. That's it for this week. Take care. Bye-bye.